going to be playing through Madden Mobile 20 or the sixth season of Madden Mobile. It has been a little while since I last played Madden Mobile. I think my last experience was maybe the first month of Overdrive. I think I played for around a month when, uh, when Overdrive kicked off. I picked up the season before that, uh, maybe around halfway through. That was the first time I started playing Madden Mobile. So we're gonna jump in and experience what Madden Mobile 6 or Madden Mobile 20, whatever the official name is, I'm not entirely sure. It's just coming up here as Madden Mobile on the splash screen. So we're gonna run through the entire experience. Uh, I will need to log in as an existing user. I think it was hooked in through Game Center last time. So let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully that finds my previous account. It has been a while. All right, so I have to specify my age. I'm clearly 100 years old, so let's go and do that. Uh, we'll turn off notifications for now. Let's use Forkatosh Gaming. There we go, continue. Uh, all right. So are you we've got the, the welcome Madden video NFL that is Mobile? currently playing. I can't actually hear Madden the year. audio because I'm not wearing my headphones. Jordy, welcome to the stream, mate. Chase Super Bowl glory and more. Continue to build your team with a new way to play in the new Madden Master Series. Uh, let me know if you've actually started playing Madden Mobile, if, if you've checked it out already as well while we watch this intro video. Looks like there's definitely some things that are new and some things that are coming back from last season as well. returning players start with legacy mode. An all new way to play with last season. Not sure that I'll get any leg Here, uh, legacy get rewards as I didn't actually play towards the end of last season, only at the very start. Pie now, and the horse, welcome to the stream. Relive one of the most exciting games of I'm last just watching season, Rams in the 11. intro video the on my second monitor here. It's not actually showing up on my phone. Can you rewrite history? It is showing up NFL on my MVP second monitor. And the Chiefs to victory. We've got Pat Mahomes as the cover athlete this time around. All right, there we go. So we're into the game here. Now we're going to have the tutorial walkthrough. Uh, that's part and parcel of any new season of EA Sports games. We're going to learn the things that are new for this season, uh, which would actually be good because it has been a while, so I get to refresh my memory as to exactly what I need to be doing. Rewrite history and score a touchdown. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Throw a touchdown pass with Patrick Mahomes. All right, snap is on me. Let's go ahead and do that. There's the touchdown pass. One attempt, one touchdown. Now, it also, I only caught it for a split second, but as I was catching that, it looked like I could control the direction of, either the direction of the throw behind or in front of the passer or uh, the catcher or, or the direction of the catcher, I'm not entirely sure, but the, the catcher button also had some arrows, like a joystick, thumbstick arrows around it. So I'll have to investigate and see exactly what that means. If you know in chat, definitely let me know. Welcome to Madden NFL Mobile. Collect new players to upgrade and achieve the ultimate team. So firstly, Let's figure out if we can actually get any legacy rewards, even though I didn't play at the end of last season. Uh, so let's jump into the store here. I'm very curious to know whether I earned anything just for playing at the start of last season. If it is anything, it definitely won't be much. Let's claim our welcome pack. This should give us some players to kick off our team with, I imagine. Quickly update your team. Yep, we know how to do that. So let's go ahead and hit the update team button. Continue. Uh, all right, so we're gonna be forced to check out my team now. So let's just follow along with the walkthrough. You can start upgrading your team now by going to Mahomes Cup in programs under the solo menu. All right, so let's head back out. Uh, choose your tutorial experience. Uh, let's just continue. We will run through the tutorial because it has been so long since I played Madden Mobile. So there we go. I get myself a 2019 Veterans badge. Uh, I can use that as my avatar, I believe. So let's claim and continue. That may actually be the only thing that I get. So uh, let's jump into solo first, see if we can play the Pat Mahomes uh, series. Now, I'm not entirely sure. That may be under Masters series. Let's have a look. 
There's Juju Smith Schuster, but that's not who we're after. But it looks like we're going to be. Oh no, we can go back out. Uh, no, we're forced to jump in here. That's fine. Can we go out? Oh, we can. Programs. There we go. Mahomes camp. Let's jump in here and start off with this. We can see the legacy program there as well. <clears throat> so what are we going to do here? We're going to earn ourselves Pat Mahomes, it looks like, once we complete this. So let's run through the camp. Welcome to Mahomes camp. Start building your team by playing events and earning special Mahomes camp editions of Alvin Kamara, Aaron Donald, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Patrick Mahomes. Definitely let me know in chat if I'm mispronouncing any of those names. Pushing, or uh, rushing drill, not pushing drill, rushing drill. The, uh, the font was a little bit hard to read there. So let's jump in and play our very first drill of Madden Mobile 20. <clears throat> Primary objective, run and knock out the hotspots. Knock out all the zones by rushing through them. I quite enjoy these drills, actually. I've always enjoyed these drills. Let's get the snap happening. Five zones knocked out. I need to get 11. So let's see if we can get six more this time around. Oh, 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 oh. Come back, come back. Kamara, why are you not running back? I completely missed the move to the left and we uh, missed the first zone. Let's try that again. Snap the ball. All right, let's make sure we hit that zone this time. Caught up by my... <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of... Uh, Getting rid of the rust to get back into the swing of things, apparently. All right, there's the gap. Let's find that skill move. Can we break through? Not quite, but that does get us enough zones that we do pass this event on the final attempt with Alvin Kamara. All right, continue. Oh, we actually unlock ourselves a uh, silver player, it looks like, in each event as well, which is nice. This is to get the Aaron Donald. So let's go ahead and run this defensive drill. I imagine this will be stopping touchdowns or laying tackles, maybe sacking a quarterback, prevent the first down. Okay, we can do that. Swipe left and right. Oh, he definitely did not prevent... Oh, hang on. The first down must have been that green zone. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't see the... Uh... Okay, yeah, it is. We, we've got to stop it getting into... So swiping to power move, is that what's happening here? Someone knows exactly what the swipe means. I didn't quite catch it. Definitely let me know. It looked like it was some sort of skill move or power move to try and beat the offensive linesman so we could... Uh, break that tackle and attempt to lay a sack. That is my guess, but I'm not entirely sure. We earn ourselves Aaron Donald. Uh, jump in and make some catches with Juju. And then there'll be one more, it looks like, and we'll unlock Pat Mahomes as well. Pass to the primary receivers. All right, so I'm curious to uh, play around with the little joystick on the... Okay, so it looks like you're sort of positioning the pass. So when you click the catch button, you can sort of slide your thumb to a position up, down, left, or right, and that actually looks like that positions the catch in that area. So you can throw behind the receiver, in front of the receiver, uh, that's quite interesting and obviously will be very useful when there's actually defenders on the field as well. So we get ourselves our Juju and then we'll uh, run this last event to earn Pat Mahomes. And then obviously we want to go and update our team as well. Silver players aren't incredible, but they're all we've got at this point in time. Let's go ahead and get this final drill done and complete Mahomes camp. Pass and knock out the hot spots. So I think we just have to catch in those zones. It's fine. Get the oh oh. What's going to happen with silver players? They're going to drop the ball. It may have been me passing a second too early as well. Once they've stopped and turned around, there we go. There's one zone knocked out. We've got ten attempts, so I don't think this will be an issue. Uh, we'll go here next. Fantastic. We'll get the other one on the right hand side done. Oh. I hit the wrong thing. Uh, can I? Is there a way I can zoom out? There we go. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. 
just to see the routes that everyone is running. So there we go. They're all stopping in the zones. So that's nice and easy for us. And one more catch to make. Another four attempts to get it done. So I definitely don't think this is going to be an issue. There we go. We've completed the final event, I believe, in the Kamara, uh, not the Kamara camp, the Mahomes camp. We earn ourselves Pat Mahomes. I assume he'll be our starting quarterback until we get someone better at this point in time. So that is Mahomes camp complete. So let's go back home and upgrade our team again real quick. Best lineup. There we go. We get our new additions. Check out our defense as well. Special teams. So a few bronzes and silvers at this point in time. Now, what does the game want us to do next? Do we just jump back into Madden Mint? I have no idea what that is. Play the Madden Mint event and you can earn coin rewards every time you win. Well, why not? Let's go ahead and do that. 20 stamina. Let's see what this entails. Play traditional football your way in the new and improved seasons mode. We'll obviously check that out as well. Get 50 kick return yards. Uh, we have three attempts to do it. So let's set up for a middle return at this point in time. The field looks really nice actually. All right, so it looks like we can still push, slide your thumb up for a power move forward. We'll do another middle return. So we've, I don't think we'll have an issue getting this happening. Can we break that tackle? We do actually break the tackle, but then we run into two more defenders. So we need six more yards. Uh, let's run up the middle again. As long as we don't fumble this catch, we shouldn't have any issues here. Six yards should be super easy. All right, so there's that event done. Earn ourselves some coins. What do we actually get there? 100 coins. It's not many. Another 200 for the first win. That's fine. It looks like... I didn't actually focus on this. It looks like all of the players that we're currently using are slowly getting leveled up the more we use them as well down the bottom. Oh, we get some vouchers as well. So we get another 1,800 coins there. So we get 2,100 coins in total. Uh, so hang on, which one was that? Which event was that? Wasn't the veterans event? It was a Madden Mint event, I believe, but there's no win icon. Uh, so I assume that was it. It's repeatable. Maybe that's why there's a win icon not showing because it is repeatable. Uh, where's the first win information? All right, we may come back to the daily events at a later date. So what else can we check out in here? It wants us to have a look at veterans as well. Let's bring out the daily goals and have a look at these. So join a league, complete three master series events, spend 300 stamina, use training points to train any players. So obviously player training is a reality this season as well. Claim the Madden bonus pack in store. We'll definitely go ahead and do that in a second. Uh, assist five league members and complete three Madden Today events. You've also got feats and achievements up the top. So as we play through the game, we'll be working towards those. So let's go and claim our bonus pack in store. Free stuff is always nice. Uh, which section is it in? Well, let's claim out 100 stamina as well. We've got five, we've got plenty of stamina at this point, well over our stamina cap. Uh, there is our bonus pack. I have no idea what's going to be in this. Hopefully a gold player would be nice at this point in time. What do we get? We get 10 stamina. The bonus pack was 10 stamina, which isn't even a, a daily event. They cost like 20 to 30 stamina. That's it? That was possibly the worst pack I have ever opened. 10 stamina, that is ridiculous. So that bonus pack was uh, absolutely worth my time. Wow. All right. Uh, let's, what, we've got competitive, which will be head-to-head -head stuff. Overdrive, arena, and friendly matches. Uh, Overdrive, 
as a non-football head, I'm not a massive fan of the overdrive system, which is why I stopped playing last season, but I'm keen to uh, see what arena is like. So let's jump into an arena match here. This looks like it's a more typical head-to-head, -head, like in season four of Madden Mobile. Each arena season lasts two weeks with new milestones. Select the current season to start earning now. All right, let's jump into the current season. I'm not sure why there are three panels there, but anyway, you choose the one on the left. Your attempts represent chances to rack up points scored in head-to-head -head arena matches. An attempt is lost when a game is lost. Okay. Uh, play. Uh, so what do we got here? Check back each round for new bonus reward modifiers that add to your head-to-head -head arena score. Play traditional turn-based drives. An attempt lasts until you lose a game. Match time, 10 minutes. Okay. Points earned inside head-to-head -head arena games and from win bonuses progress the meter to unlock rewards. So let's just jump in and learn by doing. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. <laughs> Pie in the horse. That was an epic bonus pack, wasn't it? 10 stamina, I cannot believe it. Your lineup will be locked once you enter tournament play. Are you sure you want to proceed? Confirm, we definitely don't have any upgrades to make at this point in time. Uh, so let's go, play now, let's jump in and get this done. We're rocking the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, I thought I'd just hit play now, so why have we not? Do we have to wait for a match? Can I, what happens if I hit play now again? Finding, oh, maybe it failed to find an opponent. Is that what happened? I didn't, definitely didn't hit the cancel button, so I'm not sure why it canceled. There we go, we found ourselves an opponent. Corey. Let's see if we can beat Corey. We will have to wait for some things to load as it's our first arena game. Uh, Corey has a significant power advantage. Definitely has a much better team than we do. So this could be challenging. This is going to be so interesting. It has been quite a while since I have played Madden Mobile. So let's see. Uh, let's try with a... Let's kick things off with our horrible team with a... We'll run Dagger. Uh, we're looking to get it to Pryor if we can. If he's open, there it is. Oh, 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 oh. What was a tap boost? I'm not sure if the tap boost was in the last season of uh, Madden Mobile, so I'm curious to know if it's uh, if it's a new addition this season or it was actually in last season. Let's see if we can uh, gain some yards with a run. Wow, that was so slow. Kamara is running incredibly slow at this rating. Uh, we're pretty close to the first down, though, so we're going to go another one. I have no idea what good plays are at this point in time. Halfback dive should get us the first down, and it does. Uh, we will try a short pass this time around. Let's look for the wide receiver on the drag route. So we're going to be passing to Juju. The B button is what we're looking for. If he's open, which he is, let's lead the pass. Why did that not work? And then if I had a hit it the first time correctly, I must have missed the button. The timing would have been much better. We gained a tiny amount. Uh, I'm going to go run play again now. It's telling us that the halfback lead is recommended, so let's give that a whirl. Oh, that did not work too well. Actually, actually, a broken tackle. Is that a first down? Third and inches. So we definitely go back to a run play. Uh, let's go the trap there. This should get us. There's the first down. Easy peasy. As long as there's no fumbles, we're looking good. So the drive continues. Uh, let's try a play action now. The burst cross, looking for Juju again. Uh, okay. There it is. It. Oh, whoa. That was way too far out in front. So I wonder why that was. I assume it's just because I have a silver quarterback that's going to happen. Um, let's look for another drag route. We'll run mesh. There it goes, open, he's open, what? Okay, I was getting sacked. Once again, I felt like I hit him before the sack came, but the pass did not happen. And then by the time I hit it the second time around, so we're actually at third and 16 now. So um, let's 
Let's try a long pass. We will run. Hmm. What do I want to do here? 16 yards. Let's run dagger. So we're looking for Pryor Senior on the left-hand side. And that is intercepted, unfortunately. We need to get a tackle now. Oof, that took like three of our people to bring him down. But we did get a tackle, which stops the pick six, thankfully. Uh, so that ends our first drive. I assume we have six attempts. Uh, six attempts. I assume we have three drives, if it's anything like the old head-to-head -head format. All right, so we get a reasonable return there. Um, let's look to run it. Those interceptions are going to hurt us with uh, weak-looking or silver-rated quarterbacks. Oh, we tripped on the skill move. I found the gap, and uh, unfortunately, Kamara tripped over. I thought I was going to get the first down there, actually. Uh, we'll run again. Run the trap. So we're trying to drive straight up them. Oh, no! That was horrible. Okay, we're going to be looking for a pass now. Uh, can we... Yeah, the double hinge. We will run that. So we're looking for Juju here on the left-hand side. Is that going to be a first? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so I do need to try and hit that for a boost. Um... All right, let's try a long pass here. Uh, we'll run this play here. Okay. There it is. There's the first down. We got the slight boost to the catch as well. So the drive continues. Let's run back, run it back again. Halfback base. Follow. Oh, oh, oh. Get, go, 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 go. So close. All right. Second and four. We'll just continue running it at this stage. We have not yet fumbled the ball. Fullback dive. Let's give that a crack. Oh, that'll be the first. Surely that'll be the first. Uh, so definitely let me know in chat if there's solid plays that I should be prioritizing at this point in time. I have no idea uh, what is good and what is to be avoided at this stage. Um, let's run the lead on the bottom right there as well. Oh, no, that spin move did not work at all. Got shut down big time. We gained four yards, though. I'm okay with using some of the recommended ones at this stage as well. Oh, big hole in the middle. Oh, that was a very nice gain. That was awesome. Let's continue running. Uh, I do not want to run buck sweep. We will... One left. That's interesting. So that seems to be like a coach-specific play that we can only use a limited number of times. Uh, we'll, we'll run halfback dive again. Force that straight up the guts. Follow our... Oh, that was close. Follow our linesman through the gap. That was decent, though. We gained eight yards. Let's look for a short pass. Something out. Um, let's run all curls. This could potentially be a... Oh, there we go. There we go. Kamara's open. But he dropped it. Ah! Oh. So I guess I needed to double tap that to gain that boost again. We'll try and run it through now. Um, let's use the plunge. There's the gap. Okay. Not quite all the way to the house, but we do get the first down again. And now we should be able to force it over the line, surely. Um, let's run trap. Oh, that is not looking promising. We'll try another run play, though. We will try and force it through with fullback dive this time around. There's the hole. There's the hole. Surely that's a touchdown. We get our first touchdown of Season 6 of NBA Live Mobile. And we are going to... At this point in time, we're just going to kick the field goal. I want to see what that looks like. Anyway, a slight win to the left... Let's kick slightly to the right. That should be a field goal. Straight through the middle. That was perfect. Yeah, I need to get a little bit more comfortable with the plays. And I have a, an undermatched team. So forcing the two-point conversion may not be 
a, uh, a smart thing to do. So next drive, once again, I have no idea how many drives we have. I'm assuming it's three. Uh, if, oh, actually, we'll just let that bounce back. That was way too long. So we get the touchback, which is probably better than, than my return would have been. Let's start off with a long pass play, looking for Juju. Oh, I got sacked. A little bit too slow on the release there. All right, we will try and run it now. See if we can gain like four to six yards. There's four yards. That's what I was looking for. Uh, so we will run. Ooh, do we want to run again on third? Let's try a short pass here, actually. Let's try all curls again. Um, I kind of want Kamara here. He's covered, but... Oh! Why did he stand stationary? That Why does he not step into that pass? If he just moves forward, that's a catch and it's a first down. Not ideal there. Uh, fourth and six. Let's try and run it. I really don't want to throw an interception. Um, we're going to run halfback dive here. That's not going to work for us, unfortunately. So that will bring that drive to an end. And does that end this matchup? The third drive being over, it looks like it does. So I don't think that we're going to win this. No, we definitely don't. We're mismatched in terms of our team. So what we're going to need to do here, I believe, is jump into some solo games to strengthen our team up. We had a massive disadvantage here. We earned ourselves some head-to-head -to -head tokens. No idea what they do just yet. We will check out sets at some point as well. Uh, so get attempt. I have no idea what that means. But anyway, we're going to jump into some solo uh, program events at this point to try and earn some better pieces for our team. So what do we got in the Masters series? How hard is it going to be to unlock an 80 overall Juju Schuster, uh, Smith Schuster? What do we, what do we have to do? Um, all right, let's skip through that stuff. I know how live events work. Proceed through challenges over the next 10 stages to confront and earn 80 overall master. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're starting here, I believe. Oh, wow. So glad we got that bonus pack that contained 10 stamina. Now we get to play this live event for free. Drill event. Let's jump in here and to get this drill done. And that'll be the entirety of our bonus pack spent. Still cannot believe the... Uh, 10 stamina in a bonus pack in the store. What is the point? Once again, we are mismatched pretty severely here. On, oh, wait. Do we have the advantage? We're on the left this time, so we actually have the advantage, which is good given it's a live event or a program event. You wouldn't think you'd be at a disadvantage. Knock out all the zones by rushing through them. One of my favorite events to run. Oh, I actually thought that was going to uh, continue out at an angle on the right, and it's just straight up the gut, so we have to keep that in mind. Nice little sidestep. Can we continue? We get a couple of bonus zones, so we need four more zones in two events. That's going to be near impossible to mess up. We should be able to clear it out right here, in fact. There it is. There's 12 zones out of the required 11 in three attempts. So we get that done relatively simply. And we can see there our team experience going up. So some of these players will very soon increase in power level, I imagine, which is awesome. Let's hit continue. We're just going to grind through this campaign at this point in time to unlock the Juju Smith-Schuster. We get ourselves some tokens and badges there. We will check out sets at some point as well. One shot. What is this? Madden Trivia Challenge. You will have one chance at winning a large amount of trivia tokens if you can answer the question correctly. I'm almost certainly going to get this incorrect. Which NFC East team has the lowest franchise win percentage? I'm going to go the Redskins. Submit. What was the correct answer? The Eagles. The team I had selected. That was a big L. All right. Once again, no idea. That was just pure chance. Uh, what about this one shot up here? Hail Mary event. By spending 100 stamina, you will have one shot at winning to get a special pack with five Hail Mary badges and up to 150 Master Series tokens. Um, 
We're not going to spend 100 stamina on that just yet. We may come back to it later. Let's continue through with the core program events and unlock ourselves a decent wide receiver. All right, pass for one touchdown. We have six attempts. So theoretically, this shouldn't be too bad. Um, how far away are we from the touchdown? How do I find that out? I have no idea how far away we are. The long pass is suggested here, so uh, we'll run slot flags. Okay, so we're looking for Sims on the right-hand side. Tap. Did I get the tap? Oh, no. Interception. I have no idea how accurate you have to be when tapping that button. Um, let's try corner cross. That should be a touchdown, surely. There it is. Ross with a very nice catch. We got the boost as well. Uh, so has anyone powered up yet? Okay, so the power level increase is just an addition of one power each time they level up. But obviously, because they're low overall, they're leveling up quite fast at this point. Earning tons of experience because they're bronzes and silvers. Let's continue earning those badges. Uh, what do we got here? So we have to do these at first before. We have to claim some rewards. That's awesome. So it looks like once we claim these three rewards, then we unlock that event. So I have no idea. Is that power points or training points or something? We earn ourselves some coins. We will definitely take free stuff. This is more significant than the bonus pack, which was 10 stamina. Although this may be another tiny. So if this is, how much stamina is this? 100 stamina when the bonus pack in store was 10 stamina. It's, it seems like that must have been a typo and it should have been 100 stamina. That's my gut feeling. 10 stamina may be a bug and it should actually be 100. All right. So this, we can now trade in three keys to release the lock and advance. Interesting. So let's confirm that. I didn't even realize that we'd earned the first two keys, but there we go. So we've done that. Now we have what? Why can't I click on that? Oh, there we go. You've come across a Madden lock that will eventually release over time. Really? Time delay events? That sucks. Uh, well, we're forced to wait two minutes, so let's just go and faff around somewhere else. We'll check out sets, I guess. Um... I just instinctively went to push out a sidebar there and it actually popped out. So that is nice. Although I can't see sets anywhere there. We'll have a look at our items. How about we do that? There's some of our players. I don't think we've got any unclaimed items at this stage. Currency wallet. Too many different currencies if you ask me, but that's part and parcel of Madden Mobile. So that's just the way it is. Um, one thing I do want to have a look at is any other legacy content. If anyone knows where that stuff might be, if we go solo and programs, I did see a legacy item in here earlier. So what have we got here? There's a legacy store as well. Uh, so let's claim the welcome backpack. Hopefully that gives us more than 10 stamina. What do we get here? I've got to say, the pack animations are very underwhelming. I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting. That gives us 100 stamina, 10 times as much as it was in the bonus pack, plus 100 Madden gems. That was way better than the bonus pack. Um, and then as we level up in our franchise overall, we also unlock daily drills. So let's go and use one of our legacy tokens, legacy currency, legacy stamina is what it's called to play this legacy drill. Uh, this event uses the team that you constructed during the la last year's NFL season. So you can see that was where I actually got to with my team before I stopped playing. So I must not have played that much overdrive because uh, that is not a very good team. I wonder if we can view previous legacy teams as well. Uh, profile, how do I view the my team from the season before that? We may not be able to do that actually. So that's last season's legacy team. Can I bring up the trophy room? What does this give us access to? 
Overdrive, League. This looks like it's all just last season. Doesn't look like we can view anything from the season before that. Oh, here we go. So you can see that I definitely played way more in season four of Madden Mobile. I had a 105 offense, a 105 defense, and a 102 special team. Uh, I ended up getting up to level 75, which is pretty decent. Had three uh, Hall of Fame seasons. Oh, hang on, Hall of Fame. That's something different. I had three seasons played. Hall of Fame was head-to-head -head maybe? I can't remember. I can't actually remember what Hall of Fame was. Uh, 489 achievements, a ton of sets completed as well. So that's my 2018 season. Looking a lot better than last season and this season so far. Uh, now, has two minutes passed? Can we actually, how do we go all the way back out? Oh, it's home button top right. Can we jump back into the Masters series and has that time delay event now completely unlocked? It has that, I'm not a fan of that at all. That sucks in my opinion. So hopefully we do not run into too many more of those uh, I'm not a fan of when games try and control your time. My time is my time, and when I want to play, I want to play. So I'm actually not a massive fan of stamina either, but at least in these early stages, we're going to get tons and tons of stamina. At this point, I think I'm just claiming the coins. Let's, how many do I get to pick three? So let's just take all three of the coin uh, vouchers. Redeem. Oh, there was more to the right. Anyway. It looked like there was more to the right. It was not apparent at all. I didn't think that I needed to scroll, so that's interesting. Uh, I'm certainly not spending Madden cash on this at this point. My initial impression, <laughs> the first two things that have stood out to me is a bonus pack that was trash and the forced halt because of that timed blockage, which sucked as well. So let's hit continue here. This looks like it might be the final event. No, we're into the second stage. Okay. So there's, well, firstly, there's another blockage there, so that sucks already. Uh, so there's 10 stages we need to complete to unlock that 80 overall Juju Smith-Schuster. So let's just continue through. We've got plenty of stamina at this stage. So we will run into this drill event, see what this contains. Hopefully loading times improve as we uh, slowly begin to load all the stadiums in the background. All right, backed up near your own goal. Get a first down from each distance. Okay, we have an overall advantage again. Seven attempts. Once again, I have no idea how much distance I have to get on this. So how do I find out? There's nothing there that tells me how much I need to gain, which is super weird. So in my opinion, that's a, that's an issue there should be something that tells me I need to gain 30 yards or I need for the first down, um, but I have no information. Anyway, all of this is suggested, so let's run scissors here, looking to pass to the right, most likely. Oh, nice, 6% boost. We do get the first down there. Uh, so same thing again, once again, no idea how far I have to pass, but let's just keep running suggested plays at this point in time. So there it is. I have to gain roughly 15 yards. We're going to be looking for the red route, which is A, straight up the middle. Tap, get that boost again. Wide open catch. Awesome. As long as I'm not dropping wide open catches, I'm going to be not be too disappointed. Okay, so this looks like it's a shorter distance we have to gain. Let's look for the fullback dive here. No, it's not a shorter distance at all. Why am I running a run play then? Oh, we're actually going to get through, though. No idea why I suggested a run play there. Who is Kev? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. Are you uh, are you currently playing Madden Mobile? Let me know in chat. This is my first experience. I haven't played since the very start of the Overdrive season. So I'm just grinding through the Juju Smith-Schuster campaign at this point in time hopefully getting to the 80 overall we can unlock and add to our team because our team sucks at this point so if you've got any tips for me definitely drop them in chat as an Australian firstly I have a disadvantage because I don't really follow the NFL uh, but then also not having played for quite some time there's a little bit that's new to me and obviously there'll be new additions this season as well Pass the primary receiver so we're looking okay right hand side at this point in time that is not going to work. 
the coverage there shut that down completely. So we might have to wait a little bit longer for him to be open. Hopefully we don't get sacked. We're going to have to get rid of the ball. That was too slow. We've got seven attempts in total. Oh, no. Oh, oh. We somehow avoided the sack to get the pass off, but we're having no luck completing that catch. The coverage is too good. Just got that pass off in time. I don't know how we caught that. Jumped up in amongst three defenders to make that catch. I don't think we can actually miss a catch again here, though. We have to hit every single catch here to complete this event. Okay, I'll take it. I didn't think that was going to be a catch, but it was. So we need two from two here to complete this. Okay. Come on. Come on. Stay in bounds. Surely he caught that in bounds. Surely that was in bounds. All right, let's try that again. Let's go. Looked like he took two full steps after the catch before he was out of bounds. All right, come on. It's frustrating when what should be easy live events just don't work. All right, there is the diving catch. Took less attempts than last time. And that one probably waited a little bit too long for that pass, actually. And I wonder if I should be stationary with my quarterback to increase pass accuracy as well. That should be a catch, and it is. 4% boost helped as well. I'll try to be moving less when I release the pass. I think that'll be useful. All right, so we're going to go left or right here. We're going to the left. Stay in bounds this time. There it is. So we have two attempts to get one more successful catch. This is the long, long route. So we throw that up, catch that. Nice, 7% boost. We get that event done on the second attempt. And we continue grinding our way through to an 80 overall player, which will significantly help our team's offense. Really wish that pack animation was a little bit nicer though. Uh, all right, another drill. Let's jump straight in. Knocking out hot spots, either by catching or rushing. I imagine it'll be catching. Come on, let's go. It is. So, the, all right, so we're going to have to focus on our timing here. So we're going to start with the long route. Get that off. Stay in. There we go. In the zone. Completed the catch. Uh, next, we will take X. The timing here is going to have to be very good. Hopefully, that's in. Okay, it wasn't in the zone I was after, but we did actually knock out another zone. So we'll try that again. It has to be a second earlier, so we'll go now. There's that zone. He only just passes through the zone, but we do knock it out, and we're down to our final zone, which will be RB. There it is. That should be a complete event, and it is. Nice when they don't just drop catches. All right, so he continue. That event worked out quite well for us. No stress there at all. There is the weird book pack animation. Surely there could have been something a little bit more exciting than a book opening, but anyway, it is what it is. Uh, we have a scenario event. This looks like it's going to be a little bit more than a drill. It costs a bit more stamina, and I think it will. Uh, the event itself will be a little bit more involved than just a basic drill. We have a stadium roof there that we're looking through, but nothing else is happening. Has the game crashed or what? Oh, there we go. So we are down by three. First and five. Um, first and five. Let's run this. We're going to halfback dive. Straight through there. Little spin move. The second power move doesn't break that tackle, but we get ourselves another first down. Uh, let's continue running. Halfback Sting. Oh, oh, a nice couple of moves, but once again, unable to break that tackle. We gained ourselves two yards. We will run again. I just do not trust my quarterback or my receivers to make catches and not intercept the ball. So we're running straight up the guts again. We gain ourselves a little bit of yardage. Third and three. I think we can just push this over the line, continuing to run. We will try this time around the trap. 
Okay. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Surely there it is. Force your way through. We're back to the first down. We will continue running. Halfback plunge. Oof. That worked horribly. Actually, we gave ourselves a yard somehow. I thought I'd lost yardage there, but... Uh, uh, we will continue running, though. I do not trust anything else currently with my low, low overall team. Find the gap. Oh, almost made it through. Third and one. This shouldn't be a problem. Surely we can force this over the line. Uh, and we ran out of time. I need to use timeouts there. I was not tracking that at all, and that's on me. That's a mistake because I just haven't played in so long. I totally forgot about it. So let's run back in there and try that again. So we may need to use some passes. I should have checked out the uh, the time. So we have one minute. First and five. So we're going to start with runs. We need to make decisions quickly here. Get the first. No. Oh, it is first. Just. All right. Now we'll try a long pass. Uh, deep post looks good. A's open. Can we take this to the house? Definitely not, but we earn ourselves some decent yardage. Uh, let's long pass again. We're going to run switch. Another great part, a great catch. That animation is very nice when they dive for it like that. Uh, so we still got a little ways to go. 37 seconds. Uh, let's run it again. QB draw. Let's give that a crack. So slow, but it's actually worked out incredibly well for us, and we gain ourselves the first down. We should theoretically be able to run it in from here. Let's take the plunge again. Yes, yes, take it to the house. Oh, so close. So close. 17 seconds on the clock. Still. Let's use the halfback sting, push it out to the left, dive over the line for the touchdown. There it is. We win that live event. Uh, and we will just take the field goal. We've already won the game at this point. Nine seconds on the clock. Surely we can get a, 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 we can stop them from scoring with nine seconds. Uh, so this has to be an onside kick, right? What's, um, oh, Squib, is that what, is that, does that have less chance of being returned for a touchdown? I'm not entirely sure. Let me know in, uh, in chat for sure. We just want something that soaks up time, essentially. Um, now this is where I will really struggle on D, so let's just use Donald. See if we can, uh, force our way through. Can we get an intercept? All right. That's almost a game. One more play. It's going to be a pass again, surely. So we're going to run another, another zone. Power move. Can't quite force our way through. We do get... Oh, that's an interception. We can bring this back for a pick six. No, we get tackled straight away. But that guarantees that we do win that event, which is awesome. So what do we earn from winning that event? We get a scenario pack. What is in a scenario pack? Not too much. Just more of the same. Master's tokens and a master's badge. Uh, another few scenario events by the looks of it. And then we get stuck into that stupid force timer thing again. All right, so we've still got plenty of stamina. So stamina is definitely not an issue at this point. The only issue at this point is those stupid blockages which force you to wait to play the game, which I do not understand. It doesn't make sense to me. Uh, what do we have to do here? We have to win the game with a minute to go. Okay, let's start with a run. We've got a fair bit of distance to make up. Oh, we get tripped there. We'll continue running for now. We just make, pick our plays quickly. Can we find the way through there? No. We get stuck in another tackle. Third and four. What are the best run plays to use at this point? Especially with a low overall team. Ouch. That wasn't ideal. Okay, we have one more chance. Let's go the halfback lead. 
We need to gain three yards. Surely this is it. There it is. Oh. Oh. I thought we had a chance to maybe break a tackle there and take it all the way, but it wasn't to be. Uh, let's try a long pass now. We will run switch. It is suggested. Oh. I saw the defender coming. I was unable to get the pass off quick enough. Uh, we'll try another long pass here. Pass out to the look to pass out to the left this side. Actually, we'll take that inside route. That inside route is nice. It was wide open. Ross gains eight yards for us. Bounce it to the outside with a toss. That's not a bad strategy. All right. So let's look for a toss. Uh, here we go. Down the bottom. Strong toss. Push out to the right. I wonder if I should have flipped that to give ourselves more room. I may run a, another toss, but flip it to the other side. Uh, that was strong toss. What's some of the other toss plays we've got? Is Buck Sweep a toss play? I have no idea. Oh, we ran out of time again. I... That's a noob, another noob mistake. Let's run back in. <laughs> I totally forget these are timed events. It has been a minute since I played Madden, so you're going to have to forgive the, uh, the rookie mistakes there. Uh, let's start off with a toss, though. I do like that. Strong toss. Out to the left this time around. Oh, this could be the game. Very, very nice. There's no stopping us now. Let's dive in for a glorious touchdown. My, Maya Mozambique with this great suggestion to run a toss, and we took it to the house, and then we will score the field goal to wrap this event up. Derek says they make you wait a lot in stage 10. Ugh, not looking forward to that. I, it's so, so frustrating. When you want to play a game, it's a form of entertainment, right? So why force you to stop? When I'm choosing what game to play, I want a game that I can make the decision of when I want to play. If the game is forcing that decision upon me, then um, you know, so we've got 50 seconds that we have to defend against here. I don't want to be forced told when I can and can't play. That's uh, that's not fun in my book. All right. Let's see if we can play some defense for 46 seconds. Um, let's just run this and see if we can just get sacks. That's my, that's my way of playing defense. Can we get sacks? Yes, we can. Oh, and it's a fumble. And it's a fumble. Now we can run the clock down. Awesome. I assume they have um, timeouts left. So let's force them to use the timeouts if they've got them. So the clock has stopped. So that must have been a timeout being used. How many? How do we figure out how many timeouts they have? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. So we will just wait the... All right, we'll just run it a little bit. Oh, actually, I should have just gone straight up the guts there. That would have been a first down. Um, but we can let the clock run a bit now. They for they're forced to use another timeout. Let's run toss again. We will flip it back to the right. So theoretically, they have one more timeout. So now we can let the clock run down. Uh, so let's... What's the score? Actually, we just take a field goal, right? The field goal puts us in a very strong position, score-wise. How do I change where it's... Oh, there we go. So the field goal should make this unlosable at this point. They need a touchdown and a two-point conversion just to tie the game up. Uh, now, in previous Madden Mobiles, ties, I believe, counted as losses. So, obviously, we don't want that to happen. So, we still do have to defend for 30 seconds. Uh, but, theoretically, they have no timeouts left. So, we can just keep trying to sack the QB. Another uh, fumble would be fantastic. There it is. Not a fumble that time, but we get the sack. That took off a couple of seconds. Go 
Oh, oh no, no. Oh, that was, that was close. Just sit in a deep zone. That's not a bad idea as well, actually. Um, but the, the only real defense I'm familiar with is trying to get sacks. I have no idea how to actually play zone D in this game. Can we bust through that tackle? There's another sack. Second and 17, so they're going to have to throw long. Not much time left on the clock. It's almost certainly going to be a long... Oh, they ran it up the guts. That was an interesting decision. Surely that's the game. Surely. That is it. Too much pressure on the QB. Could not complete a decent pass. And we wrap up the win there. Took a while to get that event done, but we did get it done. Continue grinding our way through, earning our tokens and badges. Not sure what they're used for just yet, but we earned ourselves something there. Uh, okay, there is a sets button in the top left. So let's have a look uh, to see what we can use those for. So if we jump into the Masters series, use tokens to open lockers containing badges and more. Can I redeem these? Or have I automatically redeemed them? Oh, I actually, okay, so that's nice. I'm assuming that didn't just cost me tokens or something. Oh no, I think it I think it does cost you tokens. So I have Master Series tokens and I can choose what to spend them on, I believe. And so I just spent, how many did I just spend on that locker? Well, what do we use the lockers for? Lockers are for players, I assume? No? Uh, so how do I open my, oh, hang on. Master Series locker, that's the, how do I unlock, how do I open the locker that I just earned? In my items, unclaimed items. Uh... Oh, there's the locker. So, exchange items for currency. So, I use the locker to earn currency. Uh, item exchange. No, it's not showing up there. This part isn't explained very well, but luckily my Mozambican chat is talking through it. So, Use lockers and more tokens to open the locker or to get players. So if we go back to sets, how do I easily get back to where I just was? Here we go. Right, so I can open this locker with that specific locker type. Um, so don't I have one of those already? Do I have to manually add it? So theoretically, if I add this, I can redeem, okay, so let's open this up. I get that. Claim and continue, what do we get in this pack? Hopefully it's better than the 10 stamina bonus pack, right? Can't be as bad as that. Do we get ourselves some players? We do get one player. And once again, maybe it's just the size of my phone, but there needs to be some sort of scroll indicator because it looks like that's the total pack, but there is actually more content to the right. We get ourselves two players. Let's hit update team as both of those are upgrades for us at this point in time. Redeem and continue. Let's jump back in to, uh, let's try our hand at trivia again. Once again, this is going to be a total flip of the coin because I will have no idea of the answer. Which, what team played in Super Bowl 53? Is that 53? Um, Patriots and Rams. Hey, okay, that one maybe wasn't a total guess, but uh, a little bit of luck required there as well. So we get that one correct. Uh, and we see that response in chat as well, Maya. Unfortunately, it would have been a little bit too late because of the timer, but that's nice to, uh, to get one correct, that's for sure. All right, so we have another scenario of him. We're gonna win in overtime this time around. And then I believe we'll be forced into that stinking blockage. Hopefully it's not longer than two minutes, but if it is, that will be dumb. But we will, there's only one way to find out. Let's win this event. Win in OT. We have once again, one minute on the clock. We have possession. 
Let's try that toss again, because that was absolutely glorious the last time we ran it. Okay. The cutback inside did get us the first down. We were unable to take it to the house like we did last time. Are there any other toss plays? It doesn't look like it. Strong toss appears to be the only toss, which is fine. So let's try a long pass at this stage. We'll run switch. That cross route, if that's the correct terminology, has been open a few times on that pass play. I do quite like that. Uh, now we'll go back to toss. How frequently can you... Uh, oh, we probably should have switched that, actually. Oh, oh, we stay on our feet and we get another first down. 24 seconds. We're going to run another pass. Let's go play action and the dig route looks nice. Go, 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 go. First down. Not quite. Second and inches. All right, so we will try and run it in uh, real quick. Then we may use a timeout if it doesn't work. Oh, my thumbstick. Why is my thumbstick not working? Uh, so timeout, please. Why can't I call a timeout? Why can't I call a timeout? There we go. Timeout. Five seconds on the clock. Uh, so... Given the distance we've got, we're probably going to try a short pass. Because if we drop it, it won't take any time off the clock. Let's run all curls. And look for Kamara. That's a catch. Surely that's a tap. What? He dropped it. What was that? What was that? Uh, we're going to run mesh and look for the, the cross route. Oh, no, no, no. Another drop catch, unfortunately. Um, oh, that was the first half of OT. Okay. Oh, no, OT continues, of course. Because there is no clear winner yet, OT continues. I understand. Uh, let's do that. We're, oh, we're in the same position. That probably wasn't the best play, but anyway. Oof, we almost gave up the interception there. Okay. Uh, fourth and goal. We are going to try the toss again. Run back to... Oh, we definitely should have flipped that, though. Just give ourselves a little bit more room. But look at that. Woo! A nice mid-air spin as well. That's the win, right? In OT, a score is a win. So, please let me know in chat. Should I have just kicked a field goal? Would a field goal have just won me that? Does any score count as an immediate win? Is once I'm in field goal range, should I have just taken the field goal? Was that a mistake to try and force a touchdown? This is a, as a non... Wait, this one cost currency to unlock. Huh? Those bl These blockages are super strange. Anyway, we get ourselves this, whatever the, is in this pack, hopefully it's something decent. This is another select pack. And once again, there's actually lots more items. So what do we want here? Probably just coins again so I can go and buy some decent players. The Madden gems, maybe that seems semi-reasonable. What are the best currencies? Let me know in chat. What are the best currencies to claim in these sorts of things? Um... Yeah, maybe I'll just grab some stamina as well. Just to make sure we've got plenty of stamina while we're doing this live stream. But definitely curious to know what the currencies I should be targeting are. Uh, so we're wrapping up stage two now with... Oh, and that was just the entry into stage three. Okay, so this will give us a little bit of info. Fine. Uh, jump into our first drill. See if we can get this done nice and easily. We will obviously have to check out season mode at some point as well. Backed up near your own goal, get a first down from each distance. Once again, no idea how much distance I need to recover. So we will try with the toss. Why stop when something is working so well? How do I find toss? There is way too many options all of a sudden. Uh, How far down do I have to look for to find toss? What? What? 
There's strong toss. Let's run that. Oh no, can we get there? We do just narrowly get there. Uh, let's run it again. Scroll down looking for toss. Is there a way, if anyone knows it's uh, currently watching, is there a way you can set favorite plays that automatically moves them up to the top of that list? Cut back inside, that was awesome. I'm definitely enjoying running toss, that's for sure, but I do not enjoy having to scroll down for it every time. So if there was a way to advance that to the top of this screen by somehow assigning it as a favorite, that would be incredible. Let me know if that's an option. We complete that event, no problems at all. Just run toss three straight times, three straight first downs. Unlock ourselves a drill pack, which will have more tokens and another badge. All right, so these drills are pretty fun. Relatively straightforward. Pass the primary receivers. These ones can be a little bit triggering if they just drop open catches, but hopefully that doesn't happen. So we're looking out to the right at this stage. Tap to get the catch boost, didn't happen. It's frustrating when the coverage just completely shuts down the only receiver you can actually pass to. Oh, I, okay, so if you tap too early, you miss out on the boost. That's good to know. Go. You gotta time the tap correctly instead of just spamming that. Ugh, another drop catch, that should have been a completion. So this will, if we miss again, we lose this event, and this is why it can be frustrating. That, that receiver isn't really open. Okay, that was decent. Um, so you're just going to have to force the pass through, and sometimes it's out of your control. That's it. We lose that event, unfortunately. Luckily, it only costs 10 stamina, so we'll run that back. I'm going to have to get a little bit better at timing. So should I wait for this receiver to have stopped up against the boundary line? Because then they're in front of the defender. But once again, like that was about as open as he's going to get and he just didn't even have a play on it. So I'm not entirely sure how to increase... Oh, 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 that's a problem. That's a problem. Do I need to stay in the pocket more? Should I not be moving out to the right? Okay, that was a successful catch. I had a feeling that was going to somehow be out of bounds. We do get that one to work. Oh, I missed the timing on the boost, but once again, we actually get a successful catch. So three more. Yes, yes, yes. Caught it, stayed in bounds. So we need, we have, what, three more attempts to get two more successful catches. Surely that's an easy one. Okay, thankfully that wasn't a drop. And our final catch, we have two attempts. And another successful catch. Okay, so the, the first one was the trickiest. Everything else from there was pretty straightforward. So far, every event I've completed on at, at most the second try, which is positive. Because there's definitely a lot that I'm forgetting from the last time I played at the start of the overdrive season. Definitely a few drills in this one. In uh, stage three. I actually prefer drills to winning in the fourth quarter, or winning in overtime, because it's just generally a lot quicker to run. All right, so we have to catch in zones. So we'll start off with X. Pass in front. Nice. There's the first zone knocked out. Um, we'll go from nearest to furthest away. So we're looking for A at this point. Great diving catch, 5% boost. Um, well then we're looking for Y. And I hit the wrong button, which sometimes happens. I got fat thumbs. The buttons are close together. That's disappointing. We still got a few attempts. Tap. Ah. So it has to be a split second earlier there. But then I don't want it too early because then he doesn't... Then he's not free if it's too early. He's got defenders all over him, but we do manage to thread the needle there and finally passing to the last zone. It'll need to be early. 
uh, well, that was too early. Because obviously we have to count for the time of the ball in the air. Oh, no. We're down to our final attempt. Can we clutch it out? Avoid the sack. Get the timing right. Catch the ball. That's the important thing. And it was in the zone. Fantastic. We do clutch out that live event. Are they even called live events anymore? Because these are in a program. Is it just a program event? Slowly continuing the grind. Um, there's tons of drills in this one. I am, maybe we'll wrap up this stage and then we'll check out some other parts of the game as well. Um, so we're not just doing the same thing over and over. Run and knock out hot spots. This might be my favorite drill actually. I do love these running drills. Force our way through there. Oh, yes. We get it done in one go. I love it when that comes together like that. Perfect. Perfect. So good. That was about as quick as you can get with your live events. Um, now, are we missing any more of those bonus question things? Are there any more of those around? Not really. Just continue through the live events. Or the drills, that's what they're called when they have the traffic cone or the uh, witch's hat, as we call them here in Australia. Run through the minefield and score a touchdown. Okay. They are stationary. We're going to have to break a tackle or two as well. So this is going to be interesting. At least the mines do not change location. Hmm, what's the trick here? Someone in chat, definitely let me know. The, <laughs> the hesitation isn't working. I think we need to be on more of an angle here. Can I just try a power move straight through? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, and we luckily beat the final defender. So we do get that touchdown on our second last attempt. Is the power move the way to go with that specific event? What's the trick? Very curious to know because I'm sure that drill will come up again at some point in the not too distant future. What do we got in this drill? Knock out the hot spots again, so more catching, or or is it going to be another run? Hopefully, it's another run through the hot spots, as I definitely prefer that. Pass a knockout. Okay, no no stress. Uh, we got three hot spots. It looks like to pass through this time. Oh, four. There is one in the right hand corner as well. So let's get that one out of the road. There's our first zone knocked out. Uh, then we'll go top right. Make sure I hit the correct player. We just avoid the sack. Get the ball off in time. Stay inbound. Everything just worked fine. Now we're looking for R B. No, we're looking for A here. That should be a catch. Didn't time the boost correctly, but we do once again knock out that zone. So our final zone here. Oh no, there's two more X hiding over there in the corner as well. No, that's, that's actually going to be Y. So we'll get that zone done, and then X will be our final pass up to the top left. Is that going to be in the zone? It is. It's a catch. We get that one done very easily. No drop catches, no missed passes, no sacks. That's what we like. Ripping through the drill packs is pretty boring because they just contain the same thing over and over again. Uh, so we're getting closer to the blockage in this particular stage. Head into the black hole. I assume that's a nickname for a specific stadium. All right, so what do we have to do here? We're kicking off. Do we have to run to the hot spot after a punt return? Okay, so the other team is kicking off. We're catching, and then we have to make our way to the hot spot. Oh, we have to run through the hot spot. I get it. So we just have to gain X number of yards on the return, which in that particular case wasn't many at all. And it looks like this one won't be too many either. Done and done. That was super easy. One of those live events that kind of feels like, why is that live event actually in there when it's impossible to fail? 
and you're not really doing anything either. Unlock another drill pack. How many more uh, drills have we got in this particular stage? One more drill. Uh, we will also now give our luck a crack here. Which NFC North team has the lowest franchise win percentage? Uh, let's go to the Detroit Lions. Let's submit that. I actually have no idea. That was mainly luck. There was some teams that I could kind of eliminate because I knew that they've had decent histories and things, but oh, we've got two more drills. Sorry, my mistake. Um, so that was nice. Always nice to uh, get a correct answer there. That is a fun addition. I kind of like that. Very easy to add that to the game. Doesn't take too long to complete, but it's just a fun little trivia. Prevent the first down as a linebacker. Okay. Not really sure where I should be positioned there. We kept the successful sack, though, which is great. Um, should I just be hovering in this zone, playing a zone coverage? Can I... Oof. Hang on. Why is that successful? Prevent first downs. They scored a touchdown. And we won the event. Okay. I don't understand the logic there. I guess technically it wasn't another first down because it was a touchdown, but surely that's an even better result for the offensive team. Eh, we'll take the win. Okay, our final drill of this stage. Let's see if we can get this one done in the first go as well. Follow the road less taken. Uh, we have... Four attempts to get two successful touchdowns, I believe. And we will have defenders. Oof, that was a big fail. We have defenders on the right, so I'm pro... Oh, no, they flip, flip sides now. So I'm probably going to run it to the, the right now. We just scrape through there and fall over the line. So I think avoiding the defenders is the way to go. So we're going to go back to the right. Oh, I just nicked the very corner of that zone. We have one more chance to get it done. Moving to the left this time around. Oh, oh no, I missed the dive button, but we do get the touchdown, so we do complete that live event. And we're still slowly powering up our team, which definitely is in desperate need of upgrades. I may jump into the auction house if I'm at a high enough level yet to do so. I know in the past you had to reach a certain level. Uh, we've claimed ourselves another locker. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, now we have two scenario events before we get towards the end of this particular stage. So let's go ahead and get those done. I assume it'll be another game winner. So we're down by one. We need to win in the fourth quarter. So uh, how much did we have to cover most of the field? So let's run. Let's go back to Old Faithful. Let's run toss again. Oof. Oof. Our offensive player did no, no work there at all. Now, I'm okay with just getting into field goal range here and just winning on a field goal. Obviously, that would be more than enough given that we're only one point down and I don't want to have too much time left on the clock. Um, so I guess we want to get into field goal range. How frequently can I run toss? Is it every like third attempt, every fourth, fourth attempt before it starts to become an issue? Oh, we broke the first tackle, couldn't get through the second. So I'll run back, I'll move back to toss now. Oh, I should have flipped it. Whoops. That's the first down, though. Um, and we're pretty much in field goal range, although I am rocking a silver or a bronze uh, kicker, so I probably want to get as close as I can. And giving up a couple of yards isn't what I'm trying to do. We've still got, we've still got time. Uh, actually, I'm not sure that that's a good play to run, but we'll try it. All right. We will try the field goal from here we've got 11 seconds on the clock special teams field goal kick timeout called um so let's just do the same thing again 
Ah, uh, oh, actually, you know what? We might not be close enough. We might not be close enough. All right, I'm gonna put the phone down on the desk and give it a good heave to get as much power as possible. Does that go through? We drop short. That is incredibly frustrating. So that's an issue with crappy silver and bronze special team players. Uh, the only chance at winning now is to get a fumble or a pick and run it back for a TD. I'm not sure that's going to happen though because all they have to do is that and the game is over. Not even worth calling a timeout. The game has ended. So we're going to have to run that back again. <laughs> we're going to have to be closer than 30 yards before we attempt a field goal. So that's good to keep that in mind. Let's jump in again. Once again, we'll be running that toss play. It seems to be quite nice at this low overall rating. So scroll down to the bottom. There's strong toss. Try and beat that. Oh, we almost beat the defender. Our, uh, I'm not sure what position that is, but he's doing a horrible job. Oh, nice two broken tackles and a nice little bit of defense there. Now we can just run some clock. I don't actually want to score the touchdown. We'll just run some clock and then we'll kick the field goal. So, all right, the timeout is called. So let's try and get another first down. There's a little bit of room in there. Oh, actually, no, it's not a first down. It's just going to have to be a touchdown. Anyway, there's a touchdown. 29 seconds on the clock. Now we've got to play some defense. Um, let's just kick the field. Oh, uh, Five-point advantage. Two-point conversion means it forces them to go for a two-point conversion. But I don't want to risk it. We'll just kick the field goal. Running out of time. Anyway, we get the field goal off in time. Six points up. Kick off middle. Now, surely my kicker isn't good enough to send that back for a touchback. Oh, my gosh. He, why couldn't he kick the field goal then? That I do not understand. If you could kick it that far, why couldn't he kick a 30-yard field goal? That makes no sense to me. We do manage to stop the first down there just, which is awesome. Now let's see if we can get some sacks on the QB. Oh, we put pressure on him, but unfortunately he did get the pass off. That is another first down. 20 seconds left. Uh, another first down. 17 seconds left. Come on. Sack, 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 sack. Fumble. Can we get possession? No. The offense recovers, but the clock is still running and they're out of timeouts now. So there's not going to be too many more plays in this. In fact, it's going to be a pass almost certainly, but we once again get the sack. Four seconds on the clock. Can we get one final stop and take the dub? Super quick snap. Oh, we get the tackle and that's the game. That's the game. Awesome. So one more... And then with one more scenario, and then we're through this stage, I believe. So what is this final scenario in stage three? Another comeback in the fourth quarter. How much time? A minute, I'm guessing. These are all very, very similar. One minute left in the fourth. X number of points down, come back. Yeah, same thing again. So obviously we're gonna go straight back to the toss. Run it to the left this time. And we're going to have to power move through. We do not get that. 
Second and one, 56. All right, we're just going to run it for a little bit. Once again, trying to get within field goal range here because a field goal will win it for us. There's the first down. I slid up with my thumb, and instead of doing a uh, power move, it was more like a hesitation, not what I wanted. Um, let's run QB draw. Sometimes catches them by complete surprise. Even though my QB is so slow, we do get another first down. Let's go back to toss now. Should have flipped it to the right. I got to remember to do that. So just give myself more space. There's another power move. We do get the first down. Not quite close enough to kick that field goal, though. We need to get a bit closer. Fullback dive. Let's see if we can do it with that. That gains us a little bit of yardage. Not much. Let's try and get to the 20-yard line, and then I'll go the, uh, the field goal. So one more first down would be ideal, and there it is. If we could take it to the house, I would have also taken that. 12 seconds on the clock. So what I'm going to do before kicking the field goal... Oh, they're not calling a timeout, so perfect. We can just do this. Oh, they call the timeout now. Um, so, theoretically, I can go a QB kneel just to take a little bit more time off, right? Force them to use another timeout, which they do. Field goal kick. Actually, let's use a timeout of our own. Can we do that? Or they use a timeout. All right, two seconds on the clock. Perfect. Final, essentially the final play of the game. They won't, they'll have time for one. Well, no, they'll just have time for the kick return, I imagine. Surely we've got enough power from there to get the field goal. There is the game-winning field goal. We just need to make sure. Does that end the game right there? That run out the rest of the clock? It did. So we get the win. Perfect clock management. And now we'll discover what our final blockage is in this stage. So stupid that they're even a thing in this game. So once again, we're using that currency to unlock this. That's fine, whatever. Claim that. So definitely let me know in chat, what are the currencies I should be prioritizing here? What are the currencies that are most valuable at this point in the game? Um, 5k coins is good. I grabbed the stamina as well just to make sure we have enough stamina to, to continue the live stream. And then I feel like the Madden gems are reasonable so we can continue to unlock these blockages, but I don't really know. But we'll, we'll stick with that for now. How many coins do we actually have? Uh, where do I view currencies from this screen? I can't do it. All right, anyway. So we're through to a stage four now, but we're actually going to check out uh, oh, actually, we'll do this one shot real quick. Oh, hang on. Let me hit start first. Now I should be able to unlock and do the one shot. There we go. So let's see if I can get... The last two I managed to get correct. Which NFC West team has the highest franchise win percentage? I feel like that's the 49ers. Let's lock that in. And it is correct. So we've got three straight correct answers, which is awesome, given my absolute lack of NFL knowledge. Um, now, let's go back home. Let's see if we can view how many coins we have. How do we view currencies? Uh, on the left-hand side there, maybe? Items? How do I view currencies? No, that's not it. Oh, currency wallet. That was there, sorry. So let's go back to items. Currency wallet on the right-hand side. 34k coins. If anyone knows in chat, what's the best way to get a better QB at this point in time? Is there like a solo program I can run through that's going to give me... Let's just check out some of the other programs at this point. I would love to get a better QB. I can obviously go into the auction house and purchase one. Let's see if I'm at a high enough level to do that yet, actually. We go back home. Where is the auction house? Auctions. No, I'm not yet high enough level. So I need to be level five. I think I'm already... Oh, I'm only 61 overall. I'm only level one. Leveling is very slow this season. That is interesting. Uh, how are we doing with our daily goals? Let's go ahead and claim a whole bunch of those. There we go. We do raise our level one time there. So this is where we're getting significant XP towards leveling. Uh, whoops. We won't join a league just yet. Let's go back out. See if we can claim some more XP to get to level three. Nothing yet to claim. What else can we do? We can use tr uh, training point to train any player. Let's go ahead and do that one time. Um, sure. Let's train Juju. 
There we go. That should have given us that daily goal now. Claim that. Another 500 XP. Does that level us? No, we're very... Oh, it does level us. We're level three now, so we're getting close. Um, complete three Madden Today events. So let's go ahead and do those. Which was the one that I did earlier? I think it was the Madden Mint. So let's try the other two out. So we'll try the Royals event. And then the one in the bottom right. And we'll see how that goes as well. So I assume these are events that just reset every four hours or so. Okay, this is just the obstacle course again. Uh, so we want to run to the right and then to the left, it looks like. Uh, there's no timer, which is nice. Oh, 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 oh! We just, just... Wait, wait. We almost didn't make it over the line there. I was uh, a little bit worried for a second. Oh, I ran out of bounds. I, I almost thought the game would keep me inbounds by default, but that did not happen. All right, not too hard once you understand the patterns. And I say that and we just clip the very edge of that no-go zone. Just scrape through there. Uh, plenty of room here. All right, and then we'll take it to the corner. Dive in or fall in. That's a super weird falling animation, but we get the two touchdowns required to complete that event on our final attempt. What do we unlock here? We get ourselves some what tokens? Royals tokens. I'll have to investigate to see what they're used for. Phenoms, 50 stamina. We have over 1,000 stamina now, so that's definitely not an issue. Pass for two touchdowns. We have five attempts to get this done. Um, let's try a short pass. Mesh looks good. I do like those cross routes, although that may not be as successful here. So we'll look for... I think A is going to be the go-to here. Cool. A is open, open, open. That's a catch. That's a touchdown. We're on one. And, gee, I wish I knew how far away I was from the goal line. Um, gee, it'd be so useful to know. We'll try Dagger. That gives us a few options. So we're looking for B here on that cross route. Plenty of time in the pocket. Can we take it over the line for the TD? Not quite. Uh, we will try Sluggo taking it to the top right. X is the route we're looking for. There is deep coverage there. Oh, that probably wasn't the best play in the end. So we have two more chances to get this done. Let's use corner cross. Gives us a few options depending on what's open. We'll use B. Looks nice and... Oh. One more chance. Uh, let's use... Let me go back to Sluggo. Looking for X. We we'll passed a little bit earlier this time. Intercepted, or not intercepted, but uh, the defender got a hand to it. So we're going to have to run that event back, unfortunately. Um, why did I have to go all the way back out? Would have been nice if it just let me do that in the screen I was. Just retry. That was strange. So let's actually try. Let's go back to Old Faithful. Oh, no, we have to pass. We can't run. Okay. So, all right, let's give this a crack. X is the primary option. A is the second option. It's going to be X. It's going to be X. Get the boost. Ah, oh, drop catch. Come on. Deep post. We'll give that a crack. I might look to use A here. I probably passed that a little bit too early, actually. I'm not sure that that was the correct pass to make. Uh, what else we got? Let's give Mesh Switch a crack. See if we can get it into one of the corners again. Oh, A might be on here. Can we catch? Oh, my gosh. Come on. This is getting frustrating. Can't drop another one. 
I'm not sure that that was the right pass to make either, but we actually get that touchdown in amongst two defenders. I got the boost just right. Um, why not try it again? Hopefully we don't get the double coverage in the back right. Single, no, kind of, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Stay in bounds. Ah, I don't understand why the hit area is so small. I'm trying to make the pass and my thumb is like a millimeter away from the button and the quarterback just doesn't do anything. Uh, we Can we come in and do this? I don't, has this reset? Or have we done this already? It doesn't give us any indication of whether we've completed it yet or not. There's no win icon. So can we just do the Madden Mint event again? We'll give that a crack. We'll see if that gets us a daily objective. If not, we will have to complete the other one. Uh, this is also past the two touchdowns. Fantastic. Just what we want. We are definitely a lot closer this time around. Let's use A if we can. That wasn't great. Um, let's look for a short cross route. Mesh. We're using X here. Get, give him time to get into a good position. Surely. Oh, the trip. I thought that was it. I thought we had the TD there. That's another fail. Not having much luck with that one. We might give up on that for now. Um, so that's fine. Feats. Anything there that we're cl oh, we can claim the training feat. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. Nothing else there that we can claim, but we're definitely close to some things. And no achievements just yet either. Um, so they're the Madden Today event, so I can ignore that. The Master Series is what I've already been... Actually... Hmm, pardon me. I don't think I have been playing the Master Series. Let's go ahead and check out the Master Series. I should also do Training Camp, I guess. Oh, no. I have been playing the Juju Smith-Houston Master Series. So let's check out the Training Camp now. Can you defeat a series of West Coast teams? Complete these overdrive events to reach your reward. Clear the stage and get closer to the final stage, ultimate rewards. Spread players receive an overboost in overdrive events on this stage. Okay. So any play that matches the spread uh, type, I think is the term. 60 stamina to play this one. Once again, we have plenty of stamina at this point in time. So this is the overdrive format again. The time is obviously a, a priority here. As you're on the clock, you wanna be making decisions as quick as possible. Um, we have a big over advantage, which is nice. Three minutes. Yep. Let me go. Come on. Let's get this underway. All right. Let's use toss. Start off with that. Touchdowns, obviously the main thing that we want. And this is going to be one, I think. Yes. That's a great start. We earn ourselves 100 points. Let's look for a long pass. That is nice. We get a first down there. That gives us points. Um, we'll run it now. Halfback plunge. There's a gap. Use it. First down. Can we get the first down? Not quite. The tackle was brought our player back. Score a touchdown with a PA pass. Uh, we definitely want to try doing that. We'll run that play. There it is. Awesome. So we get ourselves a boost there. Tons of points. Let's um, use some defensive tactics. We're going to look for another uh, toss play here. Oof. Ran into a few defenders that time around. Complete a long pass for six plus yards. Let's see if we can break this pressure here. B, 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 B. Once again, maybe that was because I was mid-tackle. Maybe I left the pass too late then. Um, more defensive tactics, please. Let's run again. Halfback draw. We're, uh, we're up, but not by much. Ooh, I missed the power move there. Uh, let's go back to the toss. We'll flip it this time. Give ourselves a little bit more space on the left. Yes. 
Ooh. Almost used the hesitation to our advantage, but not quite. So now we're looking very, very solid. Let's use a short pass here. Ah, intercepted. That sucks. Get the tackle. So we lost ourselves some points there, most likely. Or definitely didn't gain any. Um, and we're very close to unlocking our major... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like something. Our major um, defensive tactic as well. So we'll use that. Is that a catch? It is a catch. Awesome. Another first down. 28 seconds on the clock. Uh, major East Coast defensive tactic. No idea what that is, but we will use it. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, 13 seconds on the clock. Let's run a final toss play. We're in the finals 10 seconds. Can we get one? No, it's not going to be a touchdown. It's not going to be a... Oh, we get a first down, though. The first down is nice. It's not going to be enough to win the game, unfortunately. Not going to be enough to win the game. The intercept cost us big time. Is there anything that the opponent can do to lose points at this stage? That would be amazing. If somehow they just magically lost 40 points. Incredible. I don't think it's possible, though. Grab a drink while we're waiting. As a non-NFL um, fan, I watch the Super Bowl. That's about it. I just don't know enough about Madden to make decisions in an overdrive game. It just forces me to be too quick. So it's quite challenging for me to know what the correct play I should be running is when you're on the clock like that or the correct route that I should be passing to, those sorts of things. I, I've got a lot of learning to do in terms of looking for open receivers and predicting defenses and things. So I'm definitely at a disadvantage when it comes to overdrive because I don't have the time to process these things. So even though we have a massive power advantage, we did lose the last game. Can we get the win this time around? We're probably going to have to score something like 600 points to guarantee we get the win. So let's once again start with that toss. Maybe I should use offensive tactics. I'm not entirely sure. Can we break that tackle? No. I'm not sure whether you should be primarily running running or pass plays or what's the, the best strategy. Is that a first down? Surely his knee was over. What? Uh, we'll run that again, though, because we're so close. Let's run the QB draw again. It's worked well for us every time so far. Get the first down. We spin through. It's almost a touchdown with the, Q with the quarterback. That was close. We are losing big time, though. So we're, uh, no, we're on a pass there, though. We're so close to... Let's just force it over. I think we need to start passing to maximize points by the feel of it. Uh, that touchdown was big for us. Sluggo. Let's run that. Looking to use X. Surely that's a catch. Yes, it is. First down. That might give us the lead by two points. Let's go another long pass. And we can start using some tactics as well. X in the corner. Yes, great touchdown there. Uh, what are our offensive tactics? Minor go deep. Let's use that. So we're looking for a long pass now. Hopefully we can catch this. I want... Who do I want here? That... Oh, we, oh, no. We're still up by a bit, but that definitely didn't help. This is another run play. Oh, I ran into my own defender. That was annoying. Um, I'm going to go back to toss just to see if we can get a little bit happening with that. We'll keep it flipped. This ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. We get close. We're on a fourth down now. We have to force this over the line. Halfback dive. We're so close. Yes, we force it through for the first down. And we're going to be able to take it to the house for a touchdown as well. That was fantastic. Uh, so we're still up. Let's go to def some defensive tactics there. PA pass. Let's give this a crack. Go to A. So the pass over the top of the defender. And a catch. Yes, it is a catch. Okay. Complete a short pass for five plus yards. Let's give that a crack. B, before it gets to that. Yes, yes, all the way, all the way. Not quite. That was very close. Uh, so we will once again toss this through. 
hopefully for a touchdown. We need to use those tactics too. Yeah, there it is. Another touchdown. Can we get to 600 points? Surely if we get to 600 points, that's the win. Uh, let's... Oh, why did I just select QB draw? That was a dumb decision. Hopefully he doesn't fumble it. And we run out of time. We didn't quite get to 600, but that may be enough to win it this time around. Especially as our opponent is under pressure. Do we get the win? Yes, we do. Okay, fantastic. What is in this overdrive pack? First one of these we've opened. Just more tokens and badges. Okay, so now we've got a drill. Let's jump into the drill event. This should be theoretically quite straightforward. And with a bit of luck, we'll get this done on the first go. Prevent first down as a safety. Okay. Right, well, didn't do anything as a safety there. Also didn't do anything there. We'll take that. That was very easy. Strange, slightly strange event, but I'm never going to complain about events that are just easy wins. Wasn't really that much fun. We didn't have to do any work to get that win, so that's nice. Gets us a little bit closer to more rewards and hopefully a semi-decent player as well. Uh, so we get ourselves another overdrive event. How many of these are we going to have to do? There's a few. Um, so I may actually come back to that training camp at some later point. There's tons of other coming soon events in the Masters series. What else have we got in the solo stuff? We've got seasons. What other programs do we have? Um, I still haven't leveled up enough to play the next event. We already got the win on this one, I believe. We did. It may have reset. No, it probably hasn't reset yet. Uh, Overdrive Academy. Oh, probably makes sense to go for here, actually. So let's go ahead and run these drills. And this should unlock some coaches and things for us, which would be nice. Complete the pass and get through the zones. Uh, There's just a running... Wait. We're passing to the running back. Okay. My, I understand now. We're passing to the running back. There's the pass. There's a couple of zones. Oh, we're still alive. We're still alive. We ended up getting six zones there. I don't know how we managed that, but I will certainly take it. Okay, we get the pass again. And this should be all the way in for a touchdown. Awesome. 17 zones out of 11 knocked out. That was a highly successful drill. Next up, what do we have? So these are the play styles, is that correct? We're currently doing play uh, the West Coast play style drills. Correct me if, I'm, if I've got that terminology wrong. It's been a while since these were introduced at the start of the overdrive season. Swipe anywhere on the screen to control the direction of the closest receiver. Hmm, interesting. Knock out the zone, swipe toward the zone to change the path of the closest receiver. Okay. Swipe, okay, I'm gonna have to swipe. So snap the ball, swipe, swipe. There we go, there we go. Okay, the swipe wasn't registering immediately after the snap. You have to wait a little bit, uh, but that's quite interesting. So, all right, let's run that again. So the route that they're, okay, so they're gonna stop and then we have to make them go to the left and then hit B and just inbounds, I get it. Infinite attempts though, so we're not going to be able to fail this one. So we can run him back that way now. The defender actually stayed with that pretty well, but we're able to pass over the top. Okay. Run him to the right. Defender present prevented that reasonably well. Still not getting those boost timings down quite right. It's got to be a little bit more specific than what I'm doing. I'm getting close, but not close enough to get the boost. So I have to focus on that a bit as well. Uh, the final West Coast drill before we jump into the event down the bottom.
Preparing for battle. Three times a passing touchdown. Okay. I'm not sure if that's what this event is or not. Some of the loading times are still a little bit long, which is a bit surprising. Defeat your opponent. One minute on the clock. Scores are even. Okay. Come on. Let me into the game, please. Is this an overdrive? It is. Okay. Sure. Can we skip the introduction at all? Let's run the strong toss. Run it out to the left where all the defenders were waiting for us. I have a feeling it's going to be impossible to lose this. Let's use some tactics there as well. We'll set up a short pass. That looks that looks fine. Okay, so I was just experimenting with that change of direction on the receiver. So they have their own unique little icon below them that indicates that that's the receiver that will be changing direction. Ah, missed that boost again. Um, let's just go back to... Oh, no, we are actually losing quite badly. All right, let's run this in for a touchdown. We've only got nine seconds. We need to score a touchdown. Oh, come on. Come on. Turnover on downs. That's uh, that's going to be the game. We're not going to have time. We will have to run that back. Hopefully, it doesn't walk us through how to play overdrive again, as I already understand the basics of playing overdrive. Come on. The waiting for opponents is annoying. I wish there was a way to just avoid overdrive. It just doesn't work for my gameplay style, unfortunately. Oh, that was against another actual human this time around. Interesting. Let's try that again. Because it, it said add friend at the end, so I'm assuming it's not a bot if it's allowing me to add them as a friend. I'm also not sure what the add friend function is. I haven't seen that in Madden games before. All right, so let's see if we can have a little bit more luck this time around with our one minute overdrive game. We'll start with toss again, just because sometimes it goes all the way home for a touchdown. All right, run it out to the left. Hopefully we can avoid defenders this time. Nope. I will stick with the running though, because I'm not having much luck with passing. Oof, that was a big owl. Absolutely massive. Can we get a first down? No, oh my gosh, we're getting destroyed. I think the opponent's too strong. I think their overall is too strong for us. That may be it. I'm not 100% sure. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, go back, go back, go back. What are we doing? Um, you know what? Let's just kick the field goal at this point. Let's just take the guaranteed points. Well, we almost missed that, but we do get the field goal. Does that give us enough points to do anything? No, we got one more chance at running toss for a touchdown, and I think I've run it the wrong way. Can we break tackles? No, we lose badly then again. We're just going to... Uh, we're not going to continue doing this over and over. I think I need to upgrade my lineup to be competitive because we are playing other actual humans. And my overall is so low that we're just going to get smashed every time, I believe. This is why I can't complete passes and things like that, why I'm getting destroyed on running plays. My offensive line can't... Stop defenders breaking through. So we won't continue through in the academy. Uh, Madden today, yep, we've already checked that out. Legacy, we've checked out as well. So let's check out team history. Use keys to enter maps for rewards. Okay. You get one key per day. You can hold up to five max. We've currently got three. Complete maps to unlock weekly and monthly achievements. All right. Well, we are... The team we're repping is the Philadelphia Eagles. So let's look for Philly. There it is. Let's enter the Philly map. Yes, we will spend a key to unlock that map. And what do we have to do here? We've got some drills that we need to run through. So let's go ahead and play our drills and see what rewards we can get by doing this. Rush for 30 yards. Okay, surely we can do this. We'll start it off with toss. Power move, not quite, but that's decent. 
If we can rush that many yards each time, we will definitely pass the event. I feel like we can probably just run the same play over and over as well, and it's not going to be a disadvantage. Ooh, we almost, almost get through there. Let's see if we can do it in one more attempt. Can we get 12 yards here? Yeah, I reckon we can. I reckon we can. That's plenty of yards. We get that drill done. And what sort of rewards are we looking at for completing these drills? What is in this win pack? We get ourselves a player and that is an update team, which is nice. Uh, what do we get at the end here? I'm not sure what's in that win pack. You earn big rewards like Madden Gems, team specific players and bonus stamina. Okay, fair enough. We'll, we'll do another drill. Um, clicking on the drill button. Why isn't it coming up? What? There we go. Took a while. I'm not sure what the glitch was there, but we <laughs> finally managed to access that second drill. Now, what are we going to do in this one? Pass for 30 yards. Okay, so let's just try with long passes. Deep post. Let's see if we can get a 30-yard par 30 pass straight off the bat. Let's go all the way downfield. We just missed the timing on the catch, unfortunately. Try again with switch this time around. We're going just for the completing this event in one pass. That's not going to work. We got the boost, but we're in amongst way too many defenders. You can see that coming from a mile away. Uh, we'll try Xeem. We'll go to the RB here. Was that? No, oh my gosh. All right, we didn't win that event, and I'm not going to force it again. Let's just see if there's any other parts of the app that I haven't really checked out yet. So that's the team history. So that basically sums up all of the programs. And obviously you've got season mode as well. So there are a couple of types of season modes. Interesting. Um, we've got the 2019 NFL season, full 16 game schedule, full management decisions, one and a half minute quarters. And you've got classic, which is just games only. So let's jump into the full season. We'll select the Eagles again. So scroll across till we find them. There they are. Choose the settings for your upcoming season. Rewards vary based on your choices. Interesting. So I'm assuming the harder you make it, the better the rewards. Uh, do we want to use... We'll use the NFL team because our ultimate team sucks at this point in time. Uh, tap for full season rewards. So there's all the rewards. I'm not too house about those. We're not going to complete the season. Uh, we have a salary cap of 13 million, an operating income of 4.5 million. Interesting. That's the easy mode. Hard mode reduces those things. So we'll start with easy mode. Confirm the start of this season. And then do we have to make some salary decisions? Uh, interact with player cards to train and check stats. So our QB, Carson Wentz, can we train him up? How do we do that? Uh, I've got training points there. But I'm assuming that's my general wallet, not just my season-specific wallet. So does that would that be a waste training them up here? Can I train them up? Because this is just the actual roster. I'm not entirely sure. What happens if I hit best lineup? Oh, at least we've got some elites in there, which is nice. Uh, this is your season hub where you manage your team and play games. Okay, own a goal. It's ambitious, but I would like to see us become top five in the league in rushing. Okay, continue. How do we make manage lineup? How do we make trades and things? How do we, if we've got an income and if we've got a salary cap, I'm assuming we have decisions over the lineup, over the roster. Uh, we're stuck on the football loading icon at the moment. It's just not doing anything. Hopefully that result resolves itself shortly. It is not doing a thing. Nope, there we go. Network timeout, fantastic. So server issues, we'll try and jump back in. Or are we gonna run into multiple server issues here? Are we gonna get access again? Existing user, surely I don't have to do this every time. That would be annoying. Come on, let me in. The loading times are surprisingly slow. I'm not sure why some of the loading times are so long in this game. 
Um, yeah, I'm not interested in the news at this point. Let's get back into the season mode that I was in, please. Okay, continue. Will it work this time? Yes, we're in. Uh, so I can look at the war room, which lets me know the goals I'm working towards. I can scout my opponent, I assume. That's a, it's a managed lineup. Is this just, yeah, so how do we actually... Huh. What do I what do I use those currency items for? <clears throat> How do I spend on player contracts? If anyone knows in chat, definitely let me know. Can I change my uniform? I probably haven't unlocked any others, so no, I can't. Um, we're not going to jump in a player season mode game because we've been playing enough. At this point, I actually want to check out some of the other elements in the game. So I don't think there are any other free packs. And the bonus pack was such an utter disappointment anyway. No, nothing else free there. We could spend some coins on a rookie pack. What's in a rookie pack? Two. No, probably not going to do that. We can't, don't have access yet to the auction house. So maybe a pro pack wouldn't be a bad way to... Yeah, maybe we'll buy a couple of pro packs with our coins here. Actually, well, let me just check out the ace pack real quick as well. Is that just tokens or badges? Yeah, we don't necessarily care about that. So let's rip some pro packs with the coins that we've earned up as we don't yet have access to the auction house. If we could pull an elite, that would be amazing. Uh, you're not guaranteed a gold player in a pro pack? That's weird. That's weird. Okay, you've essentially got a decent chance of getting a gold player though, right? 28%, is 70 and above gold? Or has it changed? 70 should be gold, right? Another whiff, all right. So it's essentially, or it's almost one in three chance of pulling a gold player every pro pack. So statistically speaking, this should be the one that we get a gold player in. Nope, but we do get more update teams, so we'll keep those happening. Uh, we can buy one more pro pack before we run out of funds, and then I guess I'll just buy a rookie pack as well. Can we get a gold player? Wow. So the packs are definitely not something you want to be spending too many coins on because they suck. Rookie pack. Well, we do get an update team, so I won't say no to that. So... If we go to our lineup, how are we doing? 64 overall. So we're getting close to 65. And 65 and level 5 is what's required to access the auction house. So we're getting close to doing that. Uh, what's the front office? We actually haven't gone into there yet. Technology and business. Okay. The front office is where you gain special bonuses for your team. Exchanging players will reward you with front office points to upgrade your front office items. Okay, how do I do that? Season, overdrive, programs. So how do I unlock this? Okay, so I need to exchange players to get that currency. How do I exchange those players? So go, where, where is this taking me? Item exchange, okay. So can we do add all? That will give me not a whole lot of much. Ugh. Anyway, let's exchange those. Wait, so I'm giving up a whole bunch of training points just for some of those. Maybe I don't do that just yet. Maybe we'll hold off on that. That doesn't seem like a very smart thing to do. Uh, what about the business side here? So you have daily rewards and level up rewards. How do we access those? This item grants a daily reward of 300 Madam Gens. Is this a purchase thing? You just buy it with cash, all right? So this is just a way to get you to spend more money, essentially. So let's not do that. Um, how do we unlock this? Purchase a Madden level up bonus in store. Once again, spend money. Meh. Not going to spend money at this stage. Uh, so that's the front office. Is there anything else that I haven't checked out? Obviously, there's leagues that we haven't looked at yet. Um, there is sets which are only superficially looked at, but you have your various sets there. I'm not sure that there's any of those that we can really complete at this point in time, but there'll be a ton of those sets. 
Uh, you probably want to go and check out someone like Noob Kill or D Hitman on YouTube for a set breakdown. I'm sure they've got those videos up. Uh, so that's about it. I will just bring up the news now. We'll wrap up the stream by taking a look at what is being advertised in the news. So welcome to the new Madden NFL Mobile. Got some legacy information there. I'm assuming that only shows the legacy players. There's the intro screen with Pat Mahomes. Season mode is back and there's an all new Masters series and finally competitive series head to head. So that of course, when with competitive, there is the overdrive, there is the arena, and then there's the friendly matches. We did play an arena game earlier uh, and we lost. Unfortunately, we were outmatched in terms of the, our team's power. So that was, that was fair enough. Um, actually, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll jump into one more arena game We'll wrap things up now. We have got a 64 overall lineup instead of a 61. So uh, attempts refresh every day. So hang on, how do I play a game here? Try again, 50 stamina. Okay, sure. Oh, I assume the arena. Okay, I understand the how this works now. If you win, you get to continue trying until you lose. Sure. Why does it cancel out the very first time I hit play now? Doesn't, doesn't find an opponent and take me straight back to that screen. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. Does anyone else get that? It's a bit strange. Okay, so we found an opponent. We're up against the Cowboys. Loading is taking forever. Who has the advantage? We are going to get smashed. Look at that. They're almost double. Double our strength. Why are we being matched up with someone that is almost double our strength? That makes no sense. Very, very strange. We have to be super careful of fumbles and interceptions. So we might just try and run it on every possession. I don't even want to risk interceptions, to be honest, against such an overmatched team. So let's just run toss and see if we can get lucky here. We're not going to break tackles, I wouldn't think. This is probably going to be a pretty quick loss, unfortunately. I don't get why the game is matching us up with someone that's almost double our power. But we'll just be patient and see if we can just grind out first downs using run plays and pray that we don't fumble the ball. Ooh, that was a nice little move. We're getting close to the first down there. Second and three. We'll try a halfback sting. Is there a hole there? Third and inches. Ugh. All right, let's let's be super risky and try the uh, the QB draw now. Run through the middle with our quarterback. That's not going to work. It's not going to It does work. Yes. I thought we were in trouble for a second there. All right, we'll run toss again out to the right now. Can we break the... Oh, no. And that's what I mean. The defensive pressure, the difference in power. We're going to struggle so much. Uh, that worked horribly badly, unfortunately. Let's try Sting again to the left. Oh no, the defense shifted, so we shifted too. We found the new hole. Uh, that recovered a fair few yards for us, actually. So we're looking at fullback dive with third and five. Can we get the first down here? Yes, we can. That was nice for us. So we just slowly push up the field. Slow and patient. Do not want to give up interceptions to this crazy strong matchup. Oof. Got clothesline there. Second and seven. Uh, let's try toss again. We're going to get shut down completely. Yep. Actually, we didn't lose guard. We didn't use, lose yards, which is positive. Third and three. Uh, halfback base. Let's give that a crack. I don't know that I've run that one that much. There's the first down. Ooh. The sidestep didn't quite work, but hey, another first down. First and goal. Can we slowly force our way through? Buck sweep. Let's give that a crack. Probably should have flipped that. Oh, no. That was not ideal at all. All right. Three more attempts before we have to... Or two more attempts before we just, uh, unfortunately, go for the field goal. Oh, no. We're, this may just end up being a field goal attempt. We have one more crack at trying to get that. Um, we will try fullback dive here. It'll have to be a 15 yard attempt and it's not. So we will just go the guaranteed three points here. Our, op 
opponent almost certainly would have scored a touchdown on us because they're so overmatched. We'll find out in a second, I believe, once we see the second drive. They certainly did. They scored and converted a two-point conversion. Um, and I think it's gonna. they're probably going to end up with a monster score of 24 points. We're probably going to end up with nine because I'm not it's going to be so hard to score given the massive power differential all right let's try toss again we will flip it to the left this time okay this will be a first down we're not going to be able to outrun the defender but that is a very nice first down for us a decent yardage halfback draw let's give that a crack Ooh, another first down. We kind of stumbled into a few of our own players, but we got that to work. Um, let's do something super risky and try a play-action pass. Burst cross looks good. Yeah, I just don't have anywhere near enough time in the pocket. Uh, we'll go back to something stupid like quarterback draw. Oh, my gosh. Shut down hard. All right, let's just Hail Mary it now. Long pass, Hail Mary. No, ran out of time. We have no chance against this, uh, the strength of this lineup, unfortunately. Um, oh, that wasn't the fourth down. Why did I think that was fourth down? We'll try Hail Mary one more time. We have to just pass it so early. We get the tap boost. Is that a catch? Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that actually worked for us. Okay, uh, let's run toss to the right then. See if we can get this to work again. Mm, yeah, oh no, we were so close to breaking that tackle and staying on our feet. Uh, so close, halfback plunge. Can we get something to work against this tough defense? Still 10 yards away from the first. Okay, um... We'll try another play action pass with a, some sort of cross route. This one here looks good. Am I going to have anywhere? Oh, I should have flipped that. Go, 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 go. Straight up the guts. Is that a first down? It is a first down. Okay. Thank you. That was nice. Halfback dive. Let's let's get something happening. That, that'll do. Five yards gained. We're very close to the touchdown here. Can we score a touchdown against this crazy strong defense? That isn't the way to do it. Um, all right, let's try toss again. I think there's been enough. Oh, I probably shouldn't have flipped it, actually. <sighs> Dang it. Dang it. Uh, you know what? Let's go for the glory. QB draw. We're not going to win with field goals. That ain't going to do it, though. That ain't going to do it. So we lose that drive as well. And I'm assuming our opponent will be on 16. Uh, Chilled Husky, do you like MM20 so far? Uh, this will probably be the last time I play, to be honest. Um, in fact, I'm just going to save an exit that. We can't win that now. It's... The obstacle, the, I'm not even sure what the term was, the blockages in some of the events that force you to stop and wait or pay currency to get through suck. Um, the, I just got completely mismatched there with someone that was double my power for no reason. That, that totally sucked. I don't like overdrive because I don't have enough NFL experience to make decisions quick enough. So I need, uh, being on a time limit, three minute clock sucks for me personally. Uh, so... All the different forms of currencies, I think, is a bit too much. I'm sure it's a really well put together game uh, if you avoid some of the pay to win aspects. But for me personally, that's not super into the NFL, it's just a little bit too much. Uh, so, yeah, so that's probably a timely question. Do you like MM20 so far? It's not really my cup of tea. I had fun playing some aspects of it. Some other elements were a bit annoying. So this will probably be the, the one and only experience that I have with Mobile Madden this season. Um, but like all this, the EA Sports titles, I will check them out as each season refreshes just to see if there's any exciting new additions. So that will wrap up my stream, my playthrough, my first impression of Mo uh, Madden Mobile 20 or Season 6 of Madden Mobile. Thank you to everyone who stopped by the stream. I certainly appreciate it. 
I will, of course, continue streaming both Call of Duty Mobile and Chess Rush on a regular basis. Thank you to everyone, and I will see you next time.